And just like that, Ryuden is down to Division 2. It's not yet official, but that must be the outcome, as he's Maegashida 14 and now banned from the May tournament due to breaking virus prevention rules. We don't know which ones, and the investigation into him has barely begun, but for now he's guilty until proven innocent and will sit out the sumo this fortnight. If he's handed the same punishment as Abi, of course, he could even be dumped in Division 3. But, as usual, Sumo has no clear rules to go by. Those of you with longer memories might be worried for him. The anniversary of his best friend's virus caused death is fast approaching, next Friday. This is the time then when Ryuden needs more support than usual, and yet he's being hauled over the coals in public. If he has done wrong, I'd rather this were dealt with privately, and that some other reason be given for his absence. He must have enough injuries to pick from. The theme I mentioned last week of individuals being attacked for their role in wider group issues sadly continues. I should point out, this comes on the same day Sumo chose to actually scale down its virus combat efforts by allowing fans back in from day 4, because, says the press chief, we need the money. Ryuden might well point to double standards. The only other confirmed top division absentee, as I'm sure you're aware, is Hakuho. And it seems Sumo Chiefs, with their media friends, are clearing the decks for the next generation. If he's taking this long off, you can't exactly hope for anything, said Chief Judge Isegahama. Rather than go on about Hakuho, I want the current Ozeki to make Yokozuna quickly. And I want some wrestlers below them to overtake them. We don't decide the rankings chart based on a man not competing. Asked if his own student, Teru no Fuji, might challenge for Yokozuna, he revealed, Teru hasn't been able to do all the training he'd have liked because he hurt his knee during the last meet. So he just has to do what he can right now. But as he's competing, I want him to fulfill an Ozeki's responsibility and first go for double figures. Today also saw the Dokyo Emergencies training session held at the Kokugikan. Although in response to Shonan no Umi's concussion, the program was thankfully updated to address the Hibikiryu incident. It was great that the 60 or so association members present conducted specific practice on how to shift a wrestler onto a stretcher from prone, supine and sideways lying positions They've also pledged to have a doctor on the scene within a minute of every worrying injury. As of now though, we have no concrete promises on whether a doctor or a stretcher will actually be in the ringside area. And everyone only has 1.5 days to absorb what they've learned before possibly having to do it all for real. All I can do is root for them.